this is uh, my shady clay digging spot. And then watch out for wasp nests. Didn't see any squirrel's nest. No bird's nest. And right over here, you can see this is the area. And what I look for, my little buddy's the crawfish. That's the crawfish house, which I'm actually going to take and fire whole if I can get it back in good condition. But if you see here, you have the red, grainy looking stuff. That's the clay I'm after. It's not too bad a spot. We got a golden orb spider. And a male and female. A couple of other males. Let's see if we can't get up in here and get Mr. Crawfish house out the way and see if we can't get some of that clay right there. As far as the clay goes, it's very silty, but there's also a layer that's not as silty, okay? And this is, you can see the layers, it's red, rusty looking, you can also tell which parts have the silt in it. You can see this part here doesn't have as much silt. It's almost dry, but you can see how it moves good. But over here, you can see the silt in it. So, what I'm looking for is I'm going to start picking chunks all out of there that aren't too silty and have a better clay content. pretty much all in like little patches and scenes. Alright, so right here you can see it's got clay in it, but it's very silty. Got a lot of silt to it. See how it just breaks up real good and stuff. Lots of sand silt. Now over here you can see the line between the silty clay and then the good clay. See the good clay is stuck together in, in chunks. See how it's hard and in chunks. See how that'll break out. All of that'll break out from the silt. So you don't want the silt. You want the clay. Alright. I'm a big Alright, well, I've gotten three buckets um, from this area. And I noticed something else that uh, a good sign to look for. You see that right there? That's a dirt dauber nest. Another one of my good buddies. Alright, to show you what I'm not getting and what I'm getting. Alright, you see this? It's a nice fracture piece. It looks like it would be good. But if you watch, Slowly squish it and it turns into sand like almost sand No greasiness about it. Just very dry sand Here's another piece that looks like it'd be good. It's got the right color of the clay and everything But you see as soon as I compress it, it Turns into sand Now as far as the stuff I've been getting 
This is a good fracture piece. Okay. Especially that piece right there. Alright. If I squish it, it doesn't it doesn't want to separate. It wants to stay together. It won't do the crumbling sand stuff. It'll stay little balls. That's one way to test it. You can see I got quite a bit of it. It doesn't... Well, that piece has got a bit of silt in it. But, you know, I mean, this stuff has got silt. You can't... You can't do anything without there being silt everywhere. But you can see it. It's got quite a bit of clay in some spots. But this is... This area... This little bit one little spot kind of petered out I can't really get back up in there anymore and starting to worry something's gonna be walking along the bank four or five feet up underneath there and come out to see what I'm doing